For the first time in 40 years, the St. Francis Missile is on view at the Walters Art Museum. Joining us again now to tell us more about this incredible manuscript and relic is Lindley Herbert, the curator of rare books and manuscripts down at the Walters. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, what I'd like you to do is give us a quick, the cliff notes first in 20 seconds as what it is, but then you told us last hour, this is not last half hour, this is not paper, it's animal parchment. This goes back to the 12th century. Take it away. Great. Um, so the quick and dirty is that this is uh, considered to be a relic of the touch by St. Francis of Assisi. In 1208, he's believed to have opened this book while it was on the altar in San Nicolo in Assisi. Um, so this is seen as a relic by uh, Franciscans around the world. And uh, it is animal skin. It's actually a goat parchment. Um, which is common for manuscripts in this time period. Everything's handwritten. Um, and this book is so old that it actually was in very, very fragile condition. Um, and years ago, we had to stop putting it on view um, because of that. So we decided uh, a few years ago to start a very intensive conservation process where we had to take the entire book apart, um, fix all of the tears and the flaking ink, um, the binding on this, it was rebound in the 15th century, and so the wood boards on the book um, actually are, have holes in it, full of holes um, from wood boring insects. Um, and all of this damage happened a long time ago, um, but over time it is really, you know, use has taken its toll. So we started a conservation project uh, and we brought in a conservation melon uh, fellow named Kathy McGee who did the majority of the work. Um, and she worked under Abigail Quant, who is our head of uh, book and paper conservation here at the Walters. And it took two years to take the book apart, um, re-sew all of the pages back into the binding, stabilize the boards by injecting an adhesive into the holes that had been caused by these insects um, to, to sort of stabilize them from the inside and then put it all back together again. So uh, because of their work, this book has been able to be digitized and it's now online and you can share it with the world and then we can share it with everybody in the gallery as well. What is your website, condition. please? Um, so it's the Walters Art Museum is the main website, um, and then uh, the Ex Libris, uh, Walters Ex Libris, is our manuscripts website where you can see this book on view. I would suggest to you that it's very possible the Pope would be online and looking at this as a legitimate Franciscan relic here. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very big yeah. deal for the yeah. Walters. It really is. It's wonderful. We have pilgrims come here from all over the world every year. Wow. Take that one out. Make a pilgrimage. Baltimore to go to the Walters right. to look at that. Hey, listen, Linda, you've been great. Thanks so much for being with us and giving us your time. One of one of Baltimore's real treasures right there so on much. Charles Street, the Walters. Thank you.